Hello everyone, I'm Emma and I'm your storyteller for today. Tonight's story is how to go back to school. Parsley Nimblewood saves the world again. And it's written by Mike Ford and illustrated by Rebecca Sampson. Chapter 4 The Back to School Box Monday 25th of May Today's our last day at Dad's house and I had to pack up my things. With all the treats and the new books it was difficult cramming everything in the bag. I had to nibble a few crumbs of cake to help squeeze it all in. Leaving Dad's made me sad but also a tiny bit of me was looking forward to going back to normal in our cottage in the hills. It's only been a couple of days, but following all the rules there's a lot more time than there's so many other people around. I guess it'll be really good to go back to school and see your friends again, but remembering to follow all of your tyrants, I mean teachers, rules, all day long, will be difficult. It'd be a bit like your best friend coming over to eat your favourite tea together, but instead of pudding, you get a big plate of mung beans. So, because going back to school is going to be really different, I decided to make real wooden boxes full of useful things for all of you, just like the box Dad gave me. But then I remembered that there's thousands of you and only three of us, and Bo's really more of a hindrance than a help. So I've decided to give you an imaginary box because that's a lot easier for me and it uses up fewer trees. Here's what's in my box for you. A cake to celebrate seeing friends again. The best thing about it being imaginary is that it can be any flavour you like. The worst thing about it being imaginary is that it's imaginary. A T-Rex tooth necklace to help you remember all the new rules and changes at school. A copy of a CO trot by Roald Dahl to help you come up with brilliant new ideas for doing things differently. A full collection of stones to help with discussing feelings and smashing things. Another slightly smaller back to school box which you can give to someone else. This will also have another even smaller back to school box inside and that will have another even tinier back to school box and that will you get the idea. A feather for hope. Another cake because after everything we've been through we really deserve two cakes. And that's the end of tonight's chapter. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Sleep tight. See you soon.